this is Rosie. Welcome to Nona Stitching Lounge. This is Nona Stitching Lounge. I come to you from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. On uh, Today is Wednesday, July the 8th, and it is a hot and humid day out there. Uh, it is probably close to 35 degrees Celsius, which is well over 90 for those of you in the United States or elsewhere. And um, yeah, and our air conditioner broke for a bit. I was going to tape earlier before dinner, but the air conditioner was broken and it started to, I started to see sweat coming down my face. I thought, yeah, maybe I'll hold off. So Nono made a wonderful dinner. He made some pasta with meatballs and uh, yeah, um, it's been going okay around here. Um, we are still at home working and um, it's getting a little tedious uh, doing all this uh, video conferencing for work and that is why I haven't videotaped. I just find it really hard to you know get off all my video meetings and then to turn on the video camera which my video camera broke so that's the other problem so now I'm working using my iPhone. Um, so hopefully that would be okay. Uh, looks looks fine. I bought a, a, a light, one of those circular lights from Amazon, so um, yeah, now I can videotape even if it's dark outside, so anyway. So yes, July the 8th, I think the last time I put a video out was my I am a fairy, I am a July Christmas in July fairy and I've got a lot of response and a lot of new uh, subscribers, so thank you to everyone who's come by and watched my uh, July and Christmas uh, fairy video. Um, and if you don't know what that is, I will post a link of that uh, down below. Um, not down below, yeah, well I will put a, put a link down below, but also at the end of this video you can go and press it, because if you haven't entered, I will be doing a giveaway and um, I have decided that my gift prize for my giveaway on July the 15th um, is going to be a $25 gift card from Amazon. So that is, uh, yeah, $25 and uh, I will, it will be a gift card that I will email to you, so, um, or Amazon will. So that will save in shipping and then whoever wins can get whatever they want. So that's worked out really well in the past. So I'm going to do that again. So again, welcome all new subscribers. This is, oh, for those of you that don't know, this is a uh, stitching channel where I do uh, crocheting mostly, some knitting recently, I've done cross stitch. I don't do a lot of that floss tube stuff because I can't see anymore. <laughs> well, now that I have my ring light, maybe I can, I don't know. You never know, might have to start doing some floss tubing. So um, I am not wearing any knit items. I had one on earlier because it was so, um, well, I was gonna videotape. Now it's so hot that I couldn't potentially put on again, which was, uh, it was uh, cotton, but it was pretty hot. So um, I have been to, up to a lot of stitching and I'm going to show you all what I have done. So let me go first into my finished objects. So my first finished objects, which I have talked about before, was I did a test knit for this. It's called the Sunny Day Cardi Knit. Um, and it, it's been, it was made out of, oh gosh, now I'm not gonna remember. It was a, oh, I'm gonna put it down below, but it was um, an ice yarn in a cotton acrylic and um, Sunny Days Cardi is by KP Crochet Designs. So Kara asked me to be, well, I volunteered to be a um, tester. And so here it is. I tested the 2XL and uh, it turned out really pretty. It is a really pretty color. Uh, it's actually coming out much pinker than it this is more coral than pink. Let me see if I change the lighting and if it'll change any. Nope. Oh, let's see. Nope. 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 Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, with the blue lighting. 
So, um, yeah, so it's done top down in the round. I will put it on so you can see. Um, I added a little bit of a border. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's cute for a little summer cardi that uh, if you want to um, wear over a tank top, um, you can put a little button or a pin here if you want. Um, it's really, it's crocheted, of course, and uh, turned out quite nice. So anyway, so that is my first finished object. Um, the material, I washed it already. It does not, it just went back exactly the way it was. It has no give whatsoever. Um, I thought maybe it would get a little bit uh, wider or a little bit, no, nothing. It's, it's total acrylic. I'm not even sure if it has cotton. I'll put down below. I, I should have got this. I, I, I know. I should have uh, got the yarn so that you could have seen it. But anyway, it has a really interesting texture. So that is one of my, and she released this pattern on Ravelry, and I'll put the link down below. Um, and you can go and I believe it's a purchased pattern, so you can take a look at it. So that is my first finished object. I'm going to show you my second finished object, although um, I'm not very pleased with it. It was made with uh, Audine Wool's, it is a knit crate. Um, as you guys that ha are returning, um, I did thank my new subscribers, forgot to thank my my ongoing friends and subscribers that have come around. So those of you that have returned know that this is where all my knit crate yarn is, which I stopped the subscription, but I'll talk about that in a second. So I made it with the Audine Wools called Psy DK. The colorway was Leaf Eater, 85% merino wool and 15% cashmere, and it's a DK weight. And I made a love note sweater. I knitted a love note sweater. It's by Tin Can Knits. Um, you may have seen, I, I did uh, one before in a uh, beautiful purple violet. And that one turned out great and the right size, even though it did stretch a little bit when I um, blocked it. This one has not yet been blocked. And I'm afraid to even wash it because I think I might take it apart. So this is the sweater. It turned out huge. <laughs> like I know I'm big, but this turned out really, really big. Yep. Yeah. This has got to be like a 5XL or something. I'm not sure, but look, it's got, I almost can wrap it around. Okay, so it did turn out pretty, like the, the pattern turned out pretty, the love note pattern. But this is one of the problems with knitting top down in the round is that you don't know. I mean, I guess I could extend the cord and then measure it, but you really, look, look at this. <laughs> you don't know how big it's gonna be. And then if I washed it and, and extended it, it was, it'll just be really huge anyway. So I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm gonna take it apart, I know. Frog a whole friggin' sweater, which took me two weeks or more, especially knitting. So I don't know, anyway. And I'm not crazy about the color. I don't know, what do you think of the color on me? This green? And I don't know why I had so many of it. Somebody must have sent me some of the green. I think, yeah, I think I had got some with Nick Crate right? and then Someone sent it to me. Like I could, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Anyway, but I love this pattern and I'm certainly gonna do it again. My girlfriend did it in black, God bless her, and it turned out beautiful, black uh, lace. So um, that turned out really nice, but anyway. So that's one of my few failures. I don't fail in most of my, it's so hard to be. Well, I do frog a lot, but yeah. Anyway, so that is my love note knit. 
So the last one of the last videos, I did say that I was going to do um, what is called a rosy sweater. Do I have the pattern? And the rosy sweater is a child, children or baby dress. I'm gonna show you the picture first. Now my granddaughter's name is Rosalind. And so when I saw the rosy dress, I, I said, well, I have to make it. So there's, you see the rosy, and see how pretty it is. That's a baby baby. Now I used, before I show you the dress, I used um, La Mia baby cotton in this purple, which most of you will know is my favorite color and that's a little brighter than it actually is but it is la mia baby cotton and it is so nice it really is a nice cotton i have to tell you it doesn't split it's a little thinner than um oh and i got my nails done Woohoo! it's a little thinner than karen cotton cakes um it's really pretty. Yeah, so La Mia is a Hobium baby cotton that I bought last year. Um, I don't know if you can see there. Oh, baby cotton. Baby cotton. It's upside down. And I hope I'm not upside down. <laughs> so um, that's more true to color over here. It's not as bright. It's probably the lighting. But And it is... 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. It says it's a size four, but it actually, it's not as thick as a four. Um, it's not as thick as Karen Cotton Cakes. So it's really pretty. I bought about three of these that had, I think, I think I used two and a half for the baby dress that I will show you right now. Look at the baby dress. This is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Look at, I know, I knit it. And look at the, the, um, it has like a little rose pattern. Now it was only supposed to have one row of the roses, you saw the, of the pattern, but um, I had already made a row and then I, and then I measured the baby and, well, she's 19 months old. So this is gonna fit her for a bit. I measured and we needed to get it a little bit longer. So instead of taking this out, I, and or just do stockinette, I put in another row of the roses and I just evened it off so that it was in the middle of the other one. But d didn't that turn out gorgeous? I mean, that's pretty true to color. And look at the buttons at the back. Look at the bunny rabbit. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited to give it to her. Anyway, yeah, it was, I love this pattern. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this motif. I think it's uh, 12. I think it's pattern of 12 or repeat 12 pattern. And anyway, so I might do one for myself in the same cotton or maybe for her mother, I don't know. But her mother's not named Rosie. So um, yeah, isn't that cute? Oh, I know. I absolutely adore this. This turned out so cute. I love that and I love the color, and I am definitely gonna do something for myself in the color. I might crochet something. Um, I haven't decided, because I've got, well, two and a half here, and then I have another two bags of six. Yeah, I know. Well, because I bought this when Hobium, uh, the, their international website went down, and I thought, oh, if I, if I don't get enough to make a big project, and they never come back up, then I won't have enough to finish anything, right? So. So I bought in that color. So then I finished my my rosy, and uh, my girlfriend saw this and she says, "Oh, my three-year-old granddaughter would look beautiful in it." So um, she didn't want it in this color, and so she went out and bought some just acrylic. Um, she bought this snuggly wuggly in this pink. And it, well, it's actually, it's called, um, it's not even called pink, which is kind of weird. Cotton candy, 
Oh, it's called cotton candy. Yeah, that makes sense. And so I am, she didn't want, because the little girl is three, so this Rosalind's only 19 months, so she looked really cute with the, the little um, seed stitch in the middle here. I thought that looked cute, but um, she, she says because she's three, we're gonna not do the, the seed stitch. So I'm not quite finished, but here is the rosy sweater in the cotton candy. So I didn't do the little, it's gonna be just a straight cut sweater. I've started doing the little rose pattern at the bottom. You see it's still attached to the needles. Um, but isn't that turning out cute as well? I just love, 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 love this pattern. It's so cute. Anyway, I wanna see a little bit more. And then I just put these little pearl buttons at the back. Yeah, so, so adorable. Anyway. So I'm just waiting before I, I don't want to finish it yet because I'm just waiting to, it's going to be a little bit wide, but it won't be too bad because it cute little with little leggings, little white leggings would be so cute. Um, so I'm just waiting to see how long she wants the sweater for her granddaughter. <clears throat> Sorry, the dress. And then I will measure from the underarm to the bottom and then finish it off at the bottom with uh, a little bit of seed stitch. So. I don't know, I might put a little ribbon through it. I don't know. Knitting doesn't quite allow you to do that as much. But, um, huh. so that is another one of my whips. No, that's a whip. So these are all my finished projects. This is a whip. Oh, and I did do, for the same friend, for her granddaughter, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. So the picture um, is of a blanket for her, a friend of her, she used to babysit this woman. She had a little baby girl, so she asked me if I'd make her a blanket. So I did, and I used Feels Like Butter. You can't say it. It feels like butter in pink. And so I had, um, I used one whole one for the, for the little um, baby blanket. So I had some left, so I made the little sweater and the little hat. And um, the sweater and the hat, I went to a website, and I will have to put it down below because, I, not a website, a YouTube channel, because I don't remember offhand, and I didn't write it down on where I got it, but I will put it down below. And I think the bonnet is so adorable, and the little sweater is so cute. And yeah, so I did quite a bit in the last couple of weeks even though it has been hot. And um, so, and that was again done with Feels Like Butter. Now the Feels Like Butter is polyester. Um, there's 590 yards in this ball. It's a size four. It says to use a size four millimeter hook, which is way too small if you ask me. I think I used a six, but um, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the yarn. I find that like, it pulls and it stretches. I think the polyester just kind of, it has a funny feel to it. It doesn't hold as well as the acrylic, if you're gonna do that, but anyway, it turned out cute, just the same. So there you go. Feels like butter. All right, so what else? Oh, acquisitions. So I did buy some things, and I can't remember if I showed you in the last one the the needles that I bought, maybe I did. These are the Chai Chow Goo small ones. I think I showed these to you. Yeah, these are the ones that you can, so I used these really small, they come in the little, I think three inch, two inch tips. And I used them to do like the sleeves around here, which was, which was really good. So that was really easy to do um, using the, in the round. And if, I don't know if the gods tell me to I will make start maybe try a pair of socks I don't I don't know I'm never I'm not a sock person but who knows who knows where my brain will go okay acquisitions that's where I went <laughs> okay so many of you who are returning uh, viewers know that I used to get knit crate every month so I did it for about a year and then in March I stopped getting it because with the exchange rate, um, it came out to $32, $33 Canadian. 
they only gave you two skeins. I'm not a big shawl person or making little things. I like doing sweaters and bigger projects, and so you never had enough. And sure enough, the month that I stopped, they brought out the most beautiful colors. And if you watch Jeannie at On The Hook, she showed these colors and so when they did double down so like i paused my subscription i didn't actually cancel it so i'm still entitled to the double down which is buy one get one free or they have various sales on that so when the double down came guess what i bought i know so predictable yes very predictable look at this though isn't that beautiful that is pretty true to color well it's a little bit brighter but it's purple with a sparkle so I got four of these and I think I could probably knit an, a love note another love note or I have some another the ranunculus sweater that I did make two of those um, which turned out really good I did with the titmouse so this is lapis, the colorway lapis. It is 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% stellina. It is a sport weight, 300 yards, so I have about 1,200 yards of this. So, isn't that beautiful? I know, I just wanna, I just wanna get it. <laughs> and, so I got four of these, and then, because I got the silver as well so it is the color diamond the same specs and it has um, a shimmer in it as well but it's a little more subtle and that's pretty too because that's one of my colors as well so but this would look nice together too and that'd be beautiful do some some color work Ooh. <laughs> anyway I got four of these I know yep so I did that. Oh, and then I got four. I think I got four. Did I get five? No, four. Should be enough. So I also, because I was paying that much in shipping anyway, I got two more of these. These were, I think, January or February's. So I got two more of these. So now I have four of these. And these ones are... Um, Audine Wool Shine Sport in the color Flirt, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Tensel. And it's a sport weight, 350 yards as well. So I just thought this would be really pretty to do something um, in a bigger project as well. So, yeah, so my, as you can see, my Knit Crate bag is not going down. <laughs> in fact, it keeps growing and growing and I've taken some yarn out of this because I want to tell you about my dream project that I am going to make. So that's all I have for acquisitions. Um, my dream project. Okay, put those there so you can look at it. Um, so I watch, as I, I think I told you in one of my previous videos, I've been watching some knitting channels and yes, Madonna, I've gone to the other side, not completely, but I've gone to the other side. So one of the knitting channels I watch is Fleece and Harmony. It's uh, two sisters who bought a sheep farm out in Prince Edward Island, um, out in the east coast of Canada. And so I watched them and um, Jennifer uh, made this sweater by it's called the Sunday Cardigan and it's by Petite Knit. So I'll show you the picture here. So uh, you can see the picture. So it's a cardigan and I don't, I've made some cardigans and basically it looks like it's kind of, it, it's top down, kind of opens up and then, but it just looks like a really nice, comfy, cozy cardigan can see it there a little, a little bit better and I will put the link down below so it's by Petite Knit called the Sunday Cardigan and I was going through my stash and I think that I am going to use now for some reason I'm going to use this knit crate and for some reason I have six of them yep yeah, six of them so this was 
um, last year, a Nick crate last year, but wouldn't that look, it's not going to look pretty. I think it looked pretty as a cardigan. So, yeah, it has a little copper in it. Now, the color is called Kestrel, and it's 100% superwash merino wool. And it is a uh, worsted weight, so it's a little thicker than the other yarn, the DK. But I must have, I know I got two um, in my knit crate, and then I, I must have doubled down and got four more. <laughs> So that should be enough for a really big cardigan, the Sunday cardigan. What do you think? I think that is going to turn out gorgeous. So anyway, so that I, I was going to start it as soon as I finished my this rosy sweater for my girlfriend's little granddaughter. And um, but it's really hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Outside. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I I may do I may do something with the rest of this purple cotton, and make a, a sweater, a, a crochet sweater, or do a rosy a pier. I don't know. Anyway, lots of choices, lots to do. Still working. I did take a week off last week, and uh, we just hung around and visited some friends at their trailer. Social distancing, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, we have our masks. We go and I that's I went and got my nails done and they have it all set up now where you have a plastic and you just put your hands um, there. But I feel like a new person now that my fingers are all done again. And my toes, yay! So that's really exciting. Um, and that's pretty much all that's going on. I know, it's uh, crazy times. I've been watching um, watching some of you out there, my usual gang that I, I watch, and I've been reading all your comments, all the people that have joined the July and Christmas Fairies 2020. Um, I try to respond to every one of them. It does take me a couple of days, but I do try to respond. So, um, And I know some people say, oh, don't respond because then it'll eliminate them from, it, it's not true. <laughs> I've, I've gone in and played with the uh, random YouTube picker and it's not true at all. So, um, but I do respond to everybody. So it's, everybody has an equal chance. So if you haven't already entered the Christmas in July fairies, my video, it's going to be here at the end and you can go and click on it. Um, I have a few other videos. If you're new, if you want to see some of the other things that I've made and um, some of the patterns I talk about. Um, I've been uh, actually the craziest thing. So this is one of those. What what are you what are you thinking of anyway? So I'm on YouTube, and does this happen to any of you? Put down a comment below if it happens to you guys. Okay, where you go on a site. And for some reason it takes you to another site and then you think oh I wonder if and then you go into another site and you go into another. I was so deep into YouTube <laughs> I can't even tell you how I got there I started with um, watching oh what was it some 80s music that's what it was so yeah so I was watching some 80s music and then from there have you seen these YouTube videos where people do reaction videos to songs they've never heard of or bands they've never heard of? Like hip hop listeners, people who listen to hip hop listening to classic rock all of a sudden or Freddie Mercury, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, never heard it before. So I started watching some of these things, crazy. Then from that, I started watching um, James Ingram. Does anybody remember James Ingram? He was, the soap operas did a whole thing with him. Um, they played his music in the background and stuff. From there, I found Luke and Laura from General Hospital, which I was a huge fan in the 80s. I found their wedding. From there, I found somebody, her name is Susie Q, posted every single scene of Luke and Laura from 1979 on. <laughs> I know. So I'm like captivated. Like I've watched all this stuff back in the 80s, 70s and 80s and I'm now like I just saw their wedding again. Like I started from 1979. Like it's the craziest thing. My husband's like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, 
goes, are you watching crochet and knitting channels? I go, yeah, here and there. I go, but I'm watching Luke and Laura from 1980. And he's like shaking his head. He goes, are you kidding me? I'm like, I don't know how I got here, but now I have to watch them all because <laughs> I'm, ba I, you know, I have to hit 1982, right? Like, can you believe that it's like 40 years ago? 40 years ago. I know, like Jeannie Francis and I are, I think, the same age. That totally blows the mind. Anyway, that is why I haven't done a video because I've been lost in YouTube and not doing my own spiel here. But anyway, so thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for listening to my going on and on. And uh, I hope everybody's crafting and keeping busy and keeping a good um, morale up because it's tough uh, being stuck in the house or wearing masks or whatever you're doing it's very tough and the world is just gotten crazy still and i'm hoping that at least in canada we don't go through a second wave um so far so good knock on wood so um i hope everyone stays safe everyone have a great weekend and i will be back for sure on july 15th to do the draw for my um for my Christmas in July fairies draw and that'll be a $25 gift card from Amazon so go and join and uh, we'll chat soon thanks everybody see you soon